walking down the street, she caught me looking. She did the half smile. I couldn't help but to notice that her shoes, her shoes were like she's walked for miles, and I knew, knew she could see that empathy in my eyes. I couldn't help but to question why. How someone let her get away? She must have been barely 18. She's supposed to be just graduating high school or in her freshman year of college working on her degree, but she, she's on this corner wearing those clothes, waiting, waiting for compensation from some stranger to whom she, she will be performing the unspeakable. And it's sad. We see people like her every day. We do a slight head shake mm -mm, and pretend like they're invisible, justifying thoughts. That's that life. That's the life she chose. But it's hard to choose when you feel like you have no choice. Like it's hard to speak when you feel you have no voice. I was captured by her eyes. I can see them speaking. It's like I can hear them screaming. You think I want to be here? You think I want to do this? Believe me, she's in too deep to get out. That she's too lost to be found. Everyone she's ever trusted has been a disappointment. And people, people drive by giving her the stare of condemnation as though another life has been wasted. But do you really think she wanted to do that? She grew up wanting to be there? That's absence of esteem for self. Believing her only value is below her belt, that her body is a commodity, and sadly, the market is doing well. While she's leasing away pieces of her soul, I don't know about y'all, but I can tell when the spirit is broke and what people would do when they feel like they have no hope. When you're only concerned about your next meal, you're not too worried about your soul in this world. This world could be so damn cold. That's someone's little girl or someone's sibling. There's a difference in survival and living. I can't help questioning, how did we fail you? How did we fail you? See, she's barely 18. She's supposed to be just graduating high school in her freshman year of college working on her degree, but she, she's on this corner, wearing those clothes, too ashamed to go home, too afraid to leave because of her PIMP. She's caught in that life, a multi-billion dollar business, trafficking. That's someone's little girl, a someone's sibling. There's a difference, a difference in survival and living. I can't help questioning, how did we fail you? Most importantly, how can we get you back? Ooh.